I have 334, so we can officially call the meeting to order. I don't see anyone who's not part of the COA who for comment. Um, does anyone have, we have the minutes from our July 8th meeting. Does anyone have any questions or comments or edits or anything related to the minutes? No. Um, I entertain a motion to approve the minutes from the July 8th meeting. I move to approve the motion from the, the minutes from the July 8th meeting. Okay, is there a second? Second. Second, Darian. On favor? Aye. 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 Does anyone have, are there any announcements from any of the COA members? Jean. Um, I just wanted to announce, I think that I can say this, Marie, that um, there will be, um, the Arts Night Out is happening in September and as a reason, and the um, Senior Center will be participating with a in-person art show. Um, so, yeah. Do you, any, do you have the dates by any chance? It's the 10th. 10th, okay. Better work on getting a bartender, I guess. Um, oh, well, um, we already, really? We already, what? I told her she couldn't have, <laughs> so I told her she couldn't have any alcohol because she'd have, we'd have to hire a bartender. So, and I talked okay. to Kevin, and we okay. were, I, in talking to Kevin, I realized like we really can't have food unless we do like all separate little things, which, so we just decided not to do food. So Kevin was going to do water. Fine, because I, I may have missed the liquor, I mean, the licensing commission request deadline, so. Mm -hmm. Uh, we'll do it another time. Yeah, sounds good. That's great. Anyone else? Any other announcements? Mm -hmm. Comments, etc. Um, Marie, we'll turn it to you for the director's report. Hey, well, as you know, um, things have changed a little bit since um, since a, a week with the variant. So um, we are, you know, we're sort of scrambling to um, reassess some of the things we've planned. Um, the Board of Health is not mandating, but recommending that at the senior center that we do a little bit more due to around social distancing and smaller groups. So um, we're trying to determine exactly how that will affect uh, some of the things that we have planned, like cards and lunch and, um, you know, larger gatherings. So like Arts Night Out, for instance, um, you know, I think we'll just have to, um, well, there's an indoor mask mandate. So that will be, you know, everyone will be aware of that. But I think we, we'll just be encouraging people to you know, to follow social distancing um, guidelines. And um, we have um, some new staff starting on Monday, two new staff assistants, and we have um, offered, um, we have also started the process of hiring a principal clerk. So we're just short one staff assistant and hopefully we'll get more applicants because it's been really, um, Hiring has been just really difficult, I think, across the board for city departments um, and in general because um, because of the pandemic. Um, so, but we're, we're anticipating things will pick up and you know closer to September. Um, so, let's see. Um, just want to make sure I'm with anything. Um, so um, we've been, you know, doing the renewal appointments um, all day, pretty much um, every day. And people are um, generally, you know, even if they start out sort of being annoyed that they have to go through this process, they actually um, come around to that we were really doing um, a thorough job in making sure that everyone understands what we need to do here to keep people safe and um 
and then you know really letting people know of all the things that have changed that will be improving customer service and um you know it's just it's been really nice actually to be updating people and um having just you know a short little personal um connection with people and um, a lot of questions uh, people have a lot of questions about um and don't don't always understand when we tell them that because we are a city department we we aren't going to be ch checking vaccination status we're not like private businesses we can't just um you know each business can make up their own uh their own guidelines and they can say you know don't come in my school store if you're not vaccinated but we we can do that and so um you know, some people we've even had groups say we only want vaccinated people in our group, and and we we are having to tell them, you know, that that's actually not not allowed, um, and that everyone needs to understand that coming to the senior center is a personal risk, and that they need to take personal responsibility for for um, not bringing the virus here if they go to a barbecue and. Um, find out their friend has the sniffles, they should wait until they know for sure, you know, and um, not come to the senior center until they are sure they haven't been exposed. And then also wear a mask and um, do what makes them comfortable uh, when they're here, but also just signing in um, so that we can let people know if they've had an exposure, because if someone doesn't sign in, we don't know what room they were in. Um, so, you know, things are moving along and, um, we've, you know, we're, we're using this time, um, with, you know, our small, our small team to really get a lot of systems in place, um, that, um, will make things simpler and some volunteers are coming forward and, you know, so we're, we're getting there, um, so um, I'm just gonna check to make sure I'm. Um, so the building upgrades, you know, the bids have gone out, and people have been coming, and um, I think they 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 think they were due yesterday, or yeah, I'm pretty sure. So um, I'm hoping we're gonna be painting and you know, in September, um, if all goes well. Um, and um, hopefully we'll also be doing flooring in October. But, you know, I'm not, I'm not holding my breath because, um, because of the variance and because of staffing issues that, you know, all these companies are probably dealing with also and manufacturing supply chains. So, um, we did raise quite a bit of money at the, the um, friends group shredding event. Um, and I'm hoping we'll, it'll happen again in November. So I'm hoping that we'll bring in more people if things are uh, going well with the variant, then maybe we'll get even more people than we had. Um, so, but we're still, uh, we still have quite a ways to go towards our $20,000 <laughs> goal. Um, and um, I also, you know, we've been letting people know that we're gonna be close, we're gonna be, have no programming going on for the, the week of September 21st through 24th, or those four days anyway, um, for early voting to be happening. Um, and I, if you read my, all the details on my report, uh, we've decided to add a curbside lunch because, um, that will just that will ease some people's um, anxiety. They won't have to be in the dining room. They can still get lunch, but um, uh, hopefully we'll still be we'll be able to serve lunch. Um, mm -hmm. And um, part of the packet we're giving out explains that there's an increase in pricing. I think all of this was in my article actually, but um, also so. Uh, um, Let's see. Yeah. Is the early voting only happening 
at the senior center? Is that like the one spot people can go for early voting or is it uh, all across the city? I, I think so because they can't do it in the schools. And um, so- That was what happened last time. It was the one location for early voting. Yeah, so we, you know, we'll we'll be open for you know fitness orientations and renewal appointments, um, and for people to use the fitness center for the you know the couple of hours that it's um, designated just for for exercise because we're not we're not letting open exercise happen. We're doing it by registration um, to keep the numbers limited to eight people in that room and. Um, and so, you know, there's some hours available for, for orientations and some for working out. Um, it, what you're, the, the senior center will need to be closed again in, in November for voting? Uh, uh, in October again. Yeah. Yeah. October. And so is there any, I mean, it, it just a thought, but, you know, if we have to have work done, it would be, it'd be great if it could overlap so that it minimizes the amount of closure, you know? I don't know if they can do work when early voting is going on. So. Well, early voting, but the primary is to September 28th. So it'll, uh, after September 28th, it'll be good until election day or should be. Well, but they'll be doing early voting in October as well. Yeah. Oh, for, oh, for November, thank you. Got it. Yes. Two early votings. Um, but, you know, we, we have to get the work done. Hopefully it can be done over a weekend or we have to close for a weekend plus a couple of days. I mean, I don't know exactly how that's gonna work yet, but um, yeah, I mean, we'll, we'll have to do what has to be done. So um, we'll be, you know, we'll be lobbying for less days closed for sure. And we will, you know, we may be able to have the fitness center open and the rooms on this wing, um, and just have the lobby be closed. So we'll do what, what we can. Um, so um, I think that's pretty much it on my report. Sounds like flexibility is the name of the game regarding the access and painting and all of that, just because so many things that are out of the staff control. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, it might get busier in September. It may not. I mean, it really depends on what happens with the variant. And, um, but, you know, we, it's a good, it's, this is a good pace for us right now because we can sure. really get staff on boarded and um, acclimated and get all these systems in place and be ready for whatever's coming. Um, you know, whether it's lots of programming or lots of online programming. Yeah. That's great. Thanks. Um, any questions, and Marie, before we move on to Janet? Janet, you're on. Hi, everyone. I feel a little more settled since the last time we met as a group, since it was, I think, day two or three, whatever it was back then. So that's good. Um, yeah, I've been kind of thrown into the the mix now and it's been it's been actually really lovely having these 15 minute appointments with folks because it's given me an opportunity to to meet a lot of folks and kind of get to know some of the personalities and the cast of characters so I've really appreciated it and look forward to this ongoing over the next two weeks and hopefully next month as well with new folks uh, renewing um I also just want to add about staffing that I think we have a really great, strong crew coming on, even though we're down still one, but the two staff assistants that we are um, hired are, I think, really going to be great assets to the team. And the clerk is fabulous, um, have nice, diverse backgrounds, and I think it's going to be a really well-rounded team. So I'm very excited about that going forward. Um, as far as volunteers, that's going well also. It's definitely slow and steady as I find, you know, that it's been, um, although today was particularly busy, I had a lot, of, a lot of folks expressing interest, but I do feel pretty comfortable with things at this point. Um, the ambassador role is really taking shape. We have five or six individuals that are looking 
really strong candidates for that, that I will be meeting with next Friday as a group to start that training and that orientation. Um, really being careful in my, I don't wanna say my selection, but careful around describing that role and the expectations of that role when meeting with people and really looking for just the right fit for that role. And I think we've found some really strong folks so far. So that's great. Um, and looks like we are getting our bistro and coffee shop folks settled as well. Hoping that the coffee shop, um, barring any other stuff that comes down the pike from, from the health department, we're kind of hoping that maybe into September, a week or two into September, that we might be able to open the coffee shop maybe Monday, Wednesday, Friday, at least in the morning to offset the days that the bistro's open. So we're getting going with that. We also, um, uh, Marie had just kind of purchased a new point of sale system. We're gonna to try to make it a little more user-friendly, which we have just uh, gotten underway. We have the IT folks helping us hook that up. So that'll be a big um, process for all of us here to kind of learn that and orient ourselves to that with the new staff. And so then we can really start training the volunteers on that as well. So we, I think we all wanna kind of get versed in that first so that we can teach the, the staff assistants and, and have folks and the volunteers um, feeling comfortable in that new system. But hopefully it's gonna be more user-friendly and a uh, better system for all around money exchange. So um, I think that's it as far as volunteers. I think the, the area, and this kind of goes a good segue into the tech program. Um, Marie and I just had a meeting today with Krista, who's been involved with tech, and she is unfortunately um, going to be leaving this 10-hour position effective September. Um, she has too much other full-time stuff on her plate. Um, we'll be meeting with her a lot over the next couple of weeks as far as transition and getting her ideas and understanding a little bit more about her process. She's made a lot of good recommendations to us around how it could be more efficient. Um, so we'll be looking to possibly hire a private contractor for part of this, for some of this work, as well as uh, folks through RSVP. They may have designate some folks that can be tech savvy. Krista's also identified a few volunteers that may also be able to assist in, in um, bigger ways around the iPad piece and, and working with individuals. So I think we're gonna, that's kind of a work in progress. Still looking for volunteers, that's been a hard, that's been a hard role to fill. I ask that of a lot of folks who are coming in who are, are looking to help and, and offer volunteer that any tech, how about doing tech? <laughs> that doesn't seem to be a, 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 the most popular um, volunteer position. That's been difficult. So I'm hoping that um, we'll, we'll get a few folks that might be interested in helping as we keep moving forward. Still have a couple of folks who definitely are strong volunteers and have expressed interest that are um, coming down the pike later in August and even into September with some of their renewal appointments who had um, expressed that they would be away you know, most of this month. And so I know that the volunteer coffers will continue to continue to rise. I think once we open our doors a little bit more and folks are back into the mode of getting into the center. But I'm happy with how folks have been responding so far and um, even have a few new people that haven't even done volunteering before that are really wanting to step up and be involved. So that's been nice. That's great. So, yeah. Any, um, any questions, anything else that I? Sounds great. Questions, comments for Janet? So is, is there, is there a report related to interior design? I know Bob and I were able to make it to meet with Marie and Janet and the architect and saw samples, et cetera, and landed. I, I was impressed with the, I don't know if you call it acoustic tile when it's on the floor, but the, but the flooring that's not wood yeah. that seems to, you know, some nice coloring options and comfortable and, and sturdy and not, not looking like a um, hospital floor or anything like that. Bob, any thoughts? No, I, I, not only that, you know, the paint colors that were chosen, including the accent wall behind where the uh, main desk is, I think that's really going to be nice. And once they fix the lighting, <laughs> it'll look a lot better. 
Um, but uh, no, I think the whole thing's going to come together well. It's just the timing and the availability of the resources or the materials. And I already like how the front desk, when it's cut down, is going to look. Once they put a top on it, it'll be great. That's good. Yeah, I think that what, what Bob said about lighter walls, better lighting is just going to make the whole big lobby area so much lighter and brighter. That was, yeah. And then yeah. as we just discussed, right. having having new paint color and new flooring is going to make the existing furniture look even more so like it needs to be replaced. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're going to really play that up at the uh, yeah. at the early voting. <laughs> I think play it up at early voting. I think, um, sir, I'm back to what you comment about Arts Night Out. No reason why there can't be a donation box at Arts Night Out. Yeah, I have, I have asked the Friends Group to... Um, have a table at early voting and we're going to do a bake yeah. sale so oh really yeah great yeah so um hopefully you know people will donate when they see our sad furniture <laughs> you, can, you can put a spotlight on the saddest looking piece and <laughs> replace me sign big arrow for old furniture yeah <laughs> Thanks. Any other comments about interior stuff, Janet, um, Marie, anyone? With all the competing priorities for use of the space, it'll be a miracle to get it painted and floored. I know. Yeah. Yeah, it's being used right now as a cooling center. So I was gonna I was gonna ask, are there people who are coming to use it as a cooling center? Not many. There's just been a couple really. Yeah. Uh, they're in the great room, so. Well, certainly it's a day that needs to be cooled off. Yeah. yeah. Um, any new business from staff or COA members? Curiosity, and it's not really new business, any sense of how many people have been oriented so far or reoriented? Well, we ordered 200 uh, packets and you know, we've seen couples, so we've only given, given couples um, same household one packet. So we need to order more next week. So that's great. Yeah. So, you know, we we've been doing a lot every day. Yeah. Sounds like it. Yeah. Yeah. By the end of this week, we probably, you know, including couples, um, at least probably 200 people so far through the end of this weekend. We're pretty, we're booked solid through the end of August. Right, and that's less than a month because you didn't start until the second, right? Right. Yeah, yep. we're, 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 yeah, we did. And we're, we're gonna keep throwing, going in um, to September as well. We anticipate maybe offering not quite as many slots in September, depending on the, the need. We'll see, I mean, even if it exceeds, we'll add more slots, but it's been pretty, um, pretty steady. Have you, got a lot of, have you got a lot of applications for the fitness room? That yeah. is, yeah, pretty, a lot of folks are filling it out. We're still waiting on a lot of folks to get their doctor's paperwork. So we kind of have a file, a pretty thick file of folks who filled out that initial part and have, we're just waiting on the doctor's piece to um, give them. But that we had our first set of, of um, orientations yesterday with a member from the Y and that went really well. It got some good feedback from that and that seemed to go pretty smoothly, so. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's all going to be um, go an ongoing thing because some members won't, you know, won't be coming back, but we're going to require, I mean, won't be coming back, you know, right away. Um, and I just want to remind board members that you all need to do it also. I was just, I was just going to say, <laughs> as we were talking about this, it seemed to me that those of us around the screen who haven't done it need to sign up. I did mine yesterday. Yes, you uh, did, Bob. Yeah. <laughs> Bob, you're leading the way. And it's really short and, um, but we are getting, you know, the good thing about it is that, um, you know, we really had a hard time getting people to sign the waiver before the pandemic um, or to sign the code of conduct. And so now this part of, it's part of renewing your membership or becoming a member. And so, um, and nobody's had a problem with it. And it's really been, um, you know, we're just, I think it's all part of having better customer service and really um, helping members understand what we have to offer and how we can help. And 
um, how to get their questions answered and how we've put in new systems that will make it easier for them to, you know, just come here and have fun and pay, you know, do their payments online at home in the, you know, and not have to stand in lines and also just to be, you know, be very aware that of all the things that we are, we need them to be cooperative and, and um, on board with about that we're trying to do to make them safe. So, you know, it's all, it's like a team effort kind of, you know, we're in this together. So um, people have been very, you know, kind of appreciative. And then, you know, we give you a cookie too, so. <laughs> oh, there you go. That's, that's it. People come for the cookie. It sounds like you're the, um, what is it, the hotel chain that gives you cookies when you um, check in. Well, people are really glad. Yeah. Milton. Val, did you have a comment? No, I just said the hotel chain that gives you a cookie, I think is Hilton. Uh, <laughs> is that, is that one, okay, right, the important thing. Yeah, let's get the important things down. But yeah, those warm chocolate chip cookies. Um, are there any topics that folks would like to see on the agenda for our September meeting? I mean, in addition to the obvious updates about what's going on, where we are with interiors, et cetera. Um, I was going to suggest that we might think about meeting in person, but I think that that's not a good idea for the month of September, given all the variables that are in play. Yeah, the mayor um, also just said that because uh, of the way the governor has, you know, set this up, this exception to open meeting laws, like um, that, until the city works out tech issues around hybrid meetings that we really need to stay online because yeah. it's just too it, um basically what will happen is if we meet in person then uh that really excludes a lot of people who don't want to meet in person and so we're actually able to reach more people this way even though no one seems to be coming um, no i, I mean for our own kept, meetings yeah right um and i, I would think oh, as, as oh. long as there's a mask mandate in place we don't want to meet in person anyhow. Oh, wait until people see the changes in the center as far as the paint and everything else. And you'll hear, there'll be plenty of people <laughs> that'll want to say something. Yeah. Yeah. Why did you choose that color? <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah. Well, Bob, we'll put you in charge of taking those comments. <laughs> I'll put on my, have... my mean face. The mean face or your, or your suit of armor. Um, I usually wear that anyway. Um, I have a couple of questions. Um, Hi. About yes. sounds like the fitness center, the the uh, orientations are are um, why people is that what's going to happen from now on? It is people why going to train us on the machines? Yes. Yeah. I mean, we we are going to be renewing our contract with the Y, um, and that was always part of the plan for our long-term um, vision for working, not having a lot of independent instructors and not having um, to hire staff to just sit, sit in there. We really want to provide a higher level of um, service and training. And so um, we'll be incorporating, you know, that orientations will be um, happening there on, you know, by appointment and um, going forward. So, um, but, you know, we also be adding in personal and small group training and um, bringing back cl in-person classes, but right now we're not bringing back in-person classes because most people at, through the survey we did said they would like to stay online for now because of the variant. So, um, but yeah, and we, and, you know, I think that even though people have to make reservations to use the fitness center for an hour, you know, we're trying to limit that to three times a week. Um, I think people have been pretty um, agreeable with that because it, they know they're safer with smaller numbers, so. Okay. Another, Jerry, did you have other question? Well, I was, um, I'm kind of curious as to who, who worked there now. Like, is Michelle still there? And it looks like Bob isn't there because he, he was, the, at the fitness center. What about Michael? People, I'm just curious. Oh, so um, 
Michelle, Nancy, Laura, Janet, Kevin, and I are here. And um, the staffs, the assist staff assistant positions, um, I was able to work with the mayor to restructure our staffing um, in a more um, efficient, I think it'll be more efficient and um, just, you know, we'll, we'll be a more cohesive team with three full-time staff assistants. So all of those people were part-time and um, some of them weren't qualified for how I've upgraded this position. Um, so, um, but if, you know, they could have applied of course um, and none of them did. So, um, you know, there'll be a lot of new faces, um, but we will be a smaller team because um, we're not bringing back van drivers either. either. So, um, you know, I just think that everything is going to be running much smoother and our customer service is going to be better and we won't be having volunteers at the front desk. Um, we'll have a whole different role for those kinds of volunteers and um, we'll have more help at the front desk um, and with our new systems. It's just all going to be much more um, of this century. <laughs> so, hey, Marie? Yeah. How is all the solar working that's up on the roof? Um, that was done during the pandemic and that was um, that was a donor, um, a private donor um, paid for the city to put solar in on buildings in order to city money. That's great. Yeah. Do we benefit from it? Um, it goes into the city grid. So um, it's, we don't, we are, we are, we, um, we are very um, almost, you know, we're geo and we are a very efficient building. We don't need it. Jerrianne, was that any other questions? I had one more. Um, I'm one of those people in the fitness center for a couple of hours. Is, is, could it be extended in the past, in the, in the future for more than an hour in the fitness center? There are only a few of us, believe me. Yeah. Some people, I blink my eye and they're gone, but. Um, yeah. yeah. Jerrianne, right now, we're, we're doing that right now, really just based on kind of the guidelines and what's out there and just trying to kind of um, keep a better pulse on, uh, you know, how many people are in the room at once. And in order to be equitable, to allow for everybody to have an opportunity to use it, that's, you know, as, as people orient, that's why we are keeping it the one hour time frame for now truly hope that, you know, things will, the trajectory will get better and not worse. And we'll be able to start loosen up those restrictions and have it be more open-ended for folks. Um, that's just our way of kind of making sure that there's an opportunity for everybody to get in and use it, you know, for certain periods of time. So mm -hmm. hopefully that will be sooner than later, Jerry. And I understand where you're coming from, believe me. Yeah. I'm not into going back to the gym yet. <laughs> understand. <laughs> um, I just had one general question. I saw in the newspaper that Glyphera died. Is was that the mother or was that Gliffy, the younger person? It's Gliffy. No. It's Gliffy? Gliffy oh, died. Goodness. I don't think so. I think it is now. That's what I heard yesterday. It's her. Oh. Really? Yes. Yeah. Oh, that's awful. Yeah, All I right. think I think they were supposed to be is her, her mother. No, I believe it's her. Is her mother still alive? I, that I, I her mother know. is still alive. I don't know that, but her it, mother but, was really up there. Yeah, what I understand is what we saw is our Gliffy. And oh. I think the announcement said there's supposed to be a fuller obituary. I don't that's I just heard that yesterday that it was our Gliffy. Yeah, yeah it didn't have hardly anything in it. Yeah. So I was, I like, think it was one of those, shock. but you know, oh. the length of time she was involved with the COA and the senior center before I left in 94, that's how long she's been involved and supportive. So it's a, it is and a the huge loss. Yeah. Yeah. Wonderful person. Um, any, uh, any yeah. other business to, for, to discuss before we adjourn. A motion to adjourn. So moved. Uh, second. second, Michael, thanks.
Um, I believe the phrase is see you in September. <laughs> Stay well, everyone. Thank bye you. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye, all of us except for Bob to make our appointments, renewal appointments. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. After the Green River Festival. I have to wait until my music festivals are over. I'm very busy, so. Oh, enjoy it. Enjoy yeah. it. Hope you have good weather. Yeah. Take care. Yeah, Take care. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye. God bless you all. <laughs>